Thanks, viewer, for joining me on this trip from Bergen to Oslo, Norway by railway, made in the summer of 1974. I arrived in Bergen by ferry from Newcastle, England, the southwest corner of Norway. The railway route is outlined on the map. We got off after we got over the mountains and rode our 10-speed bicycles the final route to Oslo. Instead of being 60, I was a lot younger then. The railway route is advertised as one of the 20 best rail routes in the world. There's even quite a few books written about it. Wikipedia indicates that the route is the highest main line railway route in Europe and some of the most spectacular crossing the uh, plateau at 1200 meters, 4,000 feet. It's extremely uh, inhospitable. This uh, chart indicates the stops and also the sea level. As you can see, you very rapidly climb from Bergen and then gradually descend to Oslo. A genuine railway timetable, which is probably impossible to read, but quite interesting. Wikipedia indicates that the construction of the line was very challenging. It had to be made in a region without roads in a climate that saw meters of snow at winter and temperatures far below zero. There had to be substantial tunneling. The line to Midral opened in 1906, the full line opening on 1909. It was said that it was a masterpiece for his generation. I managed to locate quite a few old postcards about the construction of the line, so I'll simply show them fairly quickly. They do give you a really good idea of what the line was like around 1910. This marked the uh, grand opening of the railway. We're at the uh, Bergen railway station and ready to leave.
Which train is ours? Electric railways in Norway are ultra-modern. Leaving Bergen, we pass through fjord country briefly. It's only a few seconds to view them, but the view is wonderful. We climb very rapidly and soon get the snow, even though it's in July. We start entering tunnels. The scenery is very much like Canada, somewhat bare, glaciated rock and lots of freshwater lakes and rushing streams. We find that the railway runs for almost 500 kilometers with 182 tunnels, totaling 73 kilometers. The longest single tunnel on the line is at Finnes, over 13 kilometers long. The line's got 300 bridges spanning rivers and streams. The highest station is Finnes, 1,200 and some meters above sea level. It takes about six to seven hours to travel the full length of the line. Today the line is a very popular tourist attraction. It's an essential link between the two cities, but it's very popular with hikers and cyclists. The old railway workers' road, the Navy Road, runs alongside the line and can be cycled. In fact, there's even rental bicycles that you can pick up at the top and cycle down. At Maidal, there's the 20-kilometer branch line, the Flam Spanner, down to Flam. Here's the Flamp Spanner Railway. Well, we're uh, out of the highest point and the snow has disappeared.
We rejoined the main highway from the railway to Cycle Toiso. Here I am checking out a moose sign. My cycling and travelling companion for the summer was Stephen Madone, pictured here. Thanks viewer for joining me on this quick trip from Bergen to Oslo. I do hope you have a good day.